Hello everyone. In the last class, what we have learned is about instantaneous rate and average rate. Today, I'm going to start with a new topic, which is rate law. So consider a reaction: A moles of A plus B moles of B gives out C and D. Now, for expressing the rate, it is to be expressed in terms of reactant. So R is directly proportional A to the power m and B to the power n. A to the power m and B to the power n, where A and B are the concentration of reactant. It is the molar concentration. M and n is order with respect to A and B. M and n is order. Here is the new term order. Now, how can you define order? Order can be defined as sum of the parts raised to the concentration term in rate law. Now, when we discuss about the order, we should know the complexity of a reaction, whether the reaction is simple or complex. There are two types of equation: simple equation and complex equation. Simple equation is of single step, which means the reaction which occurs in a single step. Here, this m and n are equal to a and b, and The other reaction is complex. Complex reaction is a sequence of single steps. Among all the sequence of the se single step, the slowest step is the rate determining step. So m comma n is not equal to a and b. Now, how we can define the rate law? Rate law can be defined as a mathematical expression which gives us the value of rate in terms of molar concentration. And parts raised to the concentration term, which may be equal to a and b, and may not be equal to a and b. The expression k, this expression involves k. This k is known as rate constant, which is at a constant temperature. Why I have mentioned the constant temperature? Because when the temperature changes, the rate of reaction also changes. Okay. Now let's just consider an example. N two plus three H two gives out two N S three. The rate expression is given to you. R is equals to K N two to the power zero and H two to the power zero. N two to the power zero and H two to the power zero. Now one of my student gave the answer that the order for this reaction will be four. How? One plus three is four. But this is wrong. Because we don't know the complexity of the reaction, whether it is a single step or it is a complex equation, so we have to calculate the order by seeing the rate law. Here, zero plus zero is zero, so order is determined experimentally. It can be fraction, it can be zero, negative, and positive. Among all the orders, we have to mainly focus on zero order and first order. Now let's just consider a question. A reaction is first order in A and the second order in B. Write down the rate law. What will be the effect on rate if the concentration of both are doubled? Here, R is equals to K A to the power one as it is first order. Second order in B, B to the power two. So R dash. Now we have to calculate the effect on rate. Let the new rate be R dash. It will be equal to K as the concentration of both are doubled. So A will become 2a and b will become 2b, so it will be 2 a to the power 1, 2 ka square 4, b ki power 2, so 2 into 4, 8, k a to the power 1, b to the power 2. Now this k a to the power 1 and b to the power 2 is r, so r dash is equal to 8r. Okay, now we will calculate the value of the unit actually, the unit of rate constant for different order. Let us consider equation a to b. Rate is equal to k a to the power n, where n is order of reaction. R has a unit concentration upon time. A has a unit concentration, and we have to calculate the unit of k, where n is order. Remember, n is order. K is equal to concentration upon time, one upon concentration to the power n. We are just solving for k. So, on solving the equation, k will be equal to Mole to the power one minus n, liter to the power n minus one, and second inverse. Now, 
for zero order n will be equal to zero on putting the value of n is equals to zero in this expression k mole liter inverse second inverse now for first order n will be equal to one so mole one minus one liter one minus one second inverse so it will be second inverse now for second order n will be equal to two which means one minus two and liter two minus one second inverse so it will be equal to k mole inverse liter second inverse okay so in the next class we will discuss on zero order reaction